Howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile, and in this video we're going to be experimenting with one of the uh, Contains Physical Items nodes in the Delve Mines. So this here, Nesting Grounds, this did not require a fractured wall to be cracked open in order to get. Um, the mods that are present, we've got on, we've got Turbo, we've got Extra Damages Cold, and we've got uh, Ailments on Hit, and that applies to every zone along the way, which is not a particularly dangerous set of mods for me as an occultist with freeze immunity. Uh, although it is certainly, it's not trivial either. The extra speed matters. A lot of monsters get a lot more dangerous with a small amount of speed. So I'm just looking, I think this is where I've changed into the next zone. And it is, so this means that there could be a fractured wall anywhere now. That's a lost wealth node, that's worth getting. Just accidentally set off a, a um, dynamite when it wasn't needed there, but not some great loss. Just feels a bit stupid. Here's our first fractured wall. Hidden treasures always contains a unique, usually a garbage one. Hidden heirlooms is the upgraded version that contains a league specific unique. That's very rare. Alright, so we've crossed over, so there could be a fractured wall again. It's really strange to navigate zones. I'm going to be a bit careful and I'm not going to keep going that far. Mainly because in my experience the fractured walls are usually closer to the path than that. Down to four flares now, so hopefully I'll find the um, fractured wall in here. And I have. I see fossils in there, I can't actually see which ones yet. Corroded. Not great on its own, but it might come with others. And it did. Oh, well, that's 30 chaos. That's certainly more than pays for sulfite used. And here we are, here's these heavy items, Arts of Rowan Nest, which actually makes a lot of thematic sense. So the encounter here is not that difficult. Each of these that you burn will summon a bunch of uh, rowers. These are really hard hitting. Also notice there's a lot more of them than there are at low depths. And just when I thought I'd killed that that encounter, more spawned. One of the things that really helps here is having the AOA uh, chill. It means that whilst they come at you, they're not as fast. Because 
don't want to get hit by these charges. Rollers aren't as scary as they once were, but they still hit hard. Okay, so there's still more. There it is. Okay, so that's completion. Now these heavy jewelries will have something, I assume, that's physical themed. Uh, possibly things that can't normally drop. Curse of Vulnerability on hit. Vulnerability on hit. And this has, I think it's physical leached as life. Yeah, fizz leached as life. In a different meta might be okay, in this meta, meh. Physical as life again. Physical as life. Vulnerability on hit. A deafening essence of contempt, that's the top tier. Um, oh yeah, that's Megan Lords. Anyways, look, that was worth doing for something different. I'd, I'd run those again if I had them, um, but they're nothing tremendous. Uh, I have to have a serious look at these vulnerability on hit rings. Uh, what do we got here? Not a great overall package. 7 to 12 is second tier, isn't it? Yeah, thought so. This one here almost has some potential. I have to think on that, but I don't think it's there. Not in an amethyst ring. Vulnerability on hit and rubbish. That was Fizz Leech. Yeah, look anyways, this was worth doing, but it was nothing amazing. And um, something to sort of consider in the, sort of, in the uh, middle tier of your Delve nodes. Uh, certainly better than the likes of your um, Azurite Cavities, Azurite Vaults. But maybe on par about with the uh, Necromancer's Excavation uh, currency nodes or things like that. The, basically the things that aren't rubbish but aren't amazing. That's all I got for today. Have a good one.